Okay. Good morning. Can everybody hear me? So as Michael said, I'm Leslie Alexander McVie, and I manage the office, um, office interoperability user assistance team, uh, which reports up through Jean-Philippe Vagel and uh, Shelley uh, Benson in the office content publishing organization. And today, um, we're just going to look at uh, two things that uh, my team has worked on to actually help developers uh, explore open specifications and protocols that they, they use in their work. Um, before I start, I just want to uh, introduce two members of my team in the back. There's uh, Bruce Bracken. You can stand up and wave and cheer. He's the PM and the dev lead for the tools, the two tools I'm showing you today. And then also Lola Jacobson is in the back there. Um, she's the content project manager for all of the uh, high value content that the team writes. So my team has two obligations. One is we support the office um, product team in writing, you know, authoring, uh, updating, reviewing, uh, maintaining the open specifications. Um, and we also have um, uh, the responsibility of writing content that supports that. That content gets loaded onto the Open Specifications Developer Center. So we have two primary goals on, on my team. Working on the open specifications and the protocols and also writing content that helps support that effort. So in writing the content that helps support that effort, we've put together these two, uh, two tools. So there's actually two tools I'm going to show you. One is the Open Specifications Interactive Pivot. Last year, about this time, at an office plug fest, we actually presented a prototype uh, to the customers that came to the plug fest. And we showed them um, the pivot. Um, and we got a lot of feedback from them. And then it took us a, a few months to incorporate all that feedback. And then around August, we actually released the Open Specifications Interactive Pivot on the Dev Center. And it includes right now the Office, SharePoint, Link, Exchange, IE specifications. I'm hoping soon, and we, working, we are working right now currently on bringing in the Windows and the SQL specifications into the Pivot as well. So since that launch in um, August, we have been working on the Pivot to add some additional features. Because we've attended other customer events, we've had some um, really good feedback from a lot of our customers, and um, also from our legal group as to some of the features that they wanted added to the Pivot. And so um, we've been working uh, tirelessly on that, and we are going to release version two of the Pivot uh, this May. I'm, um, in February of this year, my team entered Microsoft's Be What's Next contest. It's a challenge. And it basically, it's, across, it's an internal challenge across Microsoft to get teams to submit really cool, <coughs> innovative projects that they're working on. So my team put together, we, we actually wrote the script and we acted. You'll be able to tell that. Uh, we produced. We actually wrote the music and composed it and performed it. And we put it all together and we submitted it. And ooh, guess what? <coughs> we were one of the winners. So I thought probably the best thing for me to do to show you the first tool, the Open Specifications Interactive Pivot, was to actually show you the three-minute video. It actually shows all the features of the pivot. Okay? So let's see. In the old world, developers seeking the grail of deep and seamless integration with Microsoft products were plagued with challenges. Each type of document held a horde of arcane knowledge, but required study to discern its purpose. Sorting through long lists of such documents on MSDN could be tedious. And the other tools of discovery gave little aid to those unfamiliar with the protocols in question. This drove some to madness. Now we see the dawning of a new era, one which transcends the limitations of the navigational tools of the past, an era where helpful controls traverse vast forests of metadata on our behalf. And what tool brings us all this? The Open Specifications Interactive Pivot Team. Hi there. 
I'm with the Office Interoperability User Assistance Team. We built on the PIM to help implementers sort through technical documents and identify the specific ones they needed for their projects. Here, have a look. Each colored tile of the pivot represents a technical document. You can zoom in on an individual tile, read the summary, and decide if this is a document you're interested in. If it is, you can open it right there. Otherwise, you can narrow down the collection. Just set filters based on the product that the technical document applies to, the release version, or even on the type of technical document, overview, soap, or store procedure, for example. And then, you can search within your filter set, or switch to bar graph and sort by different categories in the sort order filter. Think that's exciting? Well, look at this. We took pivot technology to the next step by building pick list functionality and pack and go features. As you find the technical documents you want, you can add them to the pick list, like so. When you've built your list, you can save the pick list as a link to share with others or to bookmark for yourself. Or you can export the document summaries to a PDF file to use as a report. Best of all, you can package all the documents in the list into a single zip file for download. Being able to pack and go is a real time saver for developers who need a custom collection of documents. So by thinking about information delivery in a new way, we provided our customers with a fast and easy solution to help them get the content they needed. After a search and summary all in an attractive visual medium, it's so elegant. Welcome to the new world. So, what do you think of that? Interesting, yeah? So I'm very proud of my team, not only for actually developing the tool, which helps developers uh, find the protocols and open specifications they're looking for, instead of going to MSDN and trying to find you know, this uh, long list, and that's you know, alphabeticalized by um, weird references. I mean, I don't know how you would ever find anything there, but so this is an alternative UI for that. Um, so um, there's a, Michael will be, I understand Michael will be handing out a survey or something. Um, I've included a couple of questions on there for you to give some feedback on this part of the, the first tool. The second tool that I'm going to show, so I'm proud of my team of uh, putting that together and also putting the video together. I thought it was pretty cool and we are actual winners in that competition, which is great. The next thing I'm going to show you is um, Open Specifications Interactive Tiles. Now, I want to make it quite clear, this is a prototype, and I'm here like I was last year asking the office group, what do you want to see in the Open Specifications Interactive Pivot? I'm here today asking the Exchange customer developers, gee, what do you think we should do with the tile thing? So this is actually a prototype. The, the, the title, the name, is a placeholder, okay? You'll see why I call it Tiles. I actually just came up with that name last night late, okay? So um, if you have any feedback on this, once again, you can provide that to um, Michael in his survey, okay? So um, specifically, in a lot of the customer events that we've been having, a lot of our developers have been coming to us saying, we didn't even know that you had an overview document. What is that? Nobody even realized that in each overview document, it states all the different categories and all the protocols under each one of the categories. Um, it really nicely lays out a roadmap of that whole group of specifications. So there's an there's a Office Client Overview, SharePoint, Link, uh, Exchange, um, and Office File Format, and once again, Right now, I'm focusing Office and Exchange, and in the future, I, we will be bringing in the Windows and the SQL group as well. So taking that feedback specifically from the Windows group in, in a lot of their customer events, we decided to look at the overview documents, since they're providing so much information to people and you don't even know they exist, we wanted to somehow surface that, and that's why we came up with, um, with this.
So basically, on the open specifications, underneath the link where, where there will be the open specifications interactive pivot, there will be a link for this. And basically, we'll just get in here. I'm just going to our servers, our test servers on this, so that it may take a little time going in between each one. So these are the different groups, and you can see why I've, you know, we've, we've called them tiles. Um, and for today, I'm just going to uh, go into the Exchange uh, Overview document, which is right here. And in the Exchange Overview document, there's different groups. And you can see we've, we've named some of them here. And we've, like I said, this is a prototype. We just, you know, actually decked it out to see how much, you know, room we can take up and everything. So um, these would be all the major groups, okay? Then we go, say, we pick a group. And then here's the subcategories under that group. So now I can look at, okay, I want to look at Outlook Client. There's all the specifications for Outlook Client. We have a scroll bar that we can go up and down. Um, there's some, like this one here, has maybe just a few specifications. But then we've discovered that, hey, look at this, Outlook Client. This puppy has a whole bunch. So we decided maybe there should be a category at the top that says all. And then we list all of them under that category. And then we can come back and we can look at all the subcategories and we just pick and we can see the, the various specifications that are there. And in putting together the overview um, maps, how we actually did this was each member of my team and the exchange team took an overview worked with the technical um, um, reviewer on the Office and Exchange side, went through and actually drew a huge roadmap of the protocols and how they relate to each other and how everything goes together. And then from that, we actually put together all these different buckets and put all the protocols in the particular buckets. So in addition to the tile format that you're seeing here, there will also be a static huge poster that will be zoomable and available so that you can see all the different overviews and all the protocols in, in one place. But going back to the tiles here, if we go back, let's say, uh, let's look at Exchange Active Sync. All right, and we see, okay, there's these many protocols here. Wouldn't it be nice if we just clicked here and it opens up in the pivot? We'll give it one more chance here. Yay! <laughs> so, it's a so I selected <coughs> the exchange. Uh, which ones did I select? The exchange. Um, Active sync, okay. And so now it goes, they, they populate in the pivot, and now we have all the functionality that we have in the pivot in that you can PDF it, zip it, send it to a friend, send it to yourself so you know where you were, etc. cetera. So um, that is what we're calling, what we're calling the tile right now. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So each one of these is, a, is, is basically an overview poster, okay? So that's basically the two tools that I had to show you. Are there any questions? What do you think? Yes? You think it'll help find things? When I'm looking out here, I see a lot of your eyes going like this, going, ooh, yeah. <laughs> but there's silence now. OK. Do you think you think we should add to it to make it uh, more useful for you? It's perfect. Perfect. Okay, so remember that next year, or actually the, the, the date to release this is also in May. So there's a, um, I think in June or July, we've got an office plug fest scheduled. Uh, actually, next, next uh, fall. Yeah, fall. fall. So in the fall, I will be telling them that, of course, that you all provided me with feedback for this to make it as good as it is, right? So when you get the survey from Michael, please feel free to put any feedback that you have for us as far as um, the look and feel, what should be in there. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>